Have you been using an app to calculate your neutral density exposures and then going to a different app to actually do the, the countdown? Photopills just simplified that process. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkivowitz, a storyteller with a camera, talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, I am so excited to share a new feature that my friends at Photopills have added to their app. You know, it's funny, I've been using Photopills now, I don't know, since they launched. I've, I've been a big fan of Photopills, and you know, I, I never realized that this feature didn't exist and it wasn't as seamless as, as of a process. Now, I've been teaching long exposure photography and doing long exposure photography for years as well. And I have multiple methods of calculating the neutral density filter or neutral density timed exposures and also doing the timer part of it. And now I'm excited that Photopills really did simplify the process in their app. So let's jump to my phone. This is the iPhone 10. I have it tethered right now to record the screen. And I want you to see exactly what they did in the app and how easy they made it. So here we are inside of the app and I'm, gonna, I'm in the pills section. I'm going to scroll down to timer and you can see right here there's just a simple simple timer and what I want you to see I'm going to do two seconds on the clock and I'm going to hit start and what's going to happen is when the two seconds is up it's going to do a nice sort of alert that the time's up. Here we go. Now here's the cool thing. Not only is the timer its own pill but you can also use a timer within certain other pills. So for example, in exposure, which is what, where you would be to calculate your long exposure times, you will set your uh, pre-existing pre exposure, your test setting, and then your equivalent setting, you would then say how many, you know, stops you have in, uh, in filters and stuff. So here I am at 16 stops. You can see the new shutter speed is four hours, 33 minutes, and four seconds. I'm going to drop that down to two stops. And I'm going to save that. Now the, sh the exposure, the shutter speed is only one second. I'm going to go a little bit longer just so you can see. Here's five stops. And now the shutter speed is eight seconds. Okay, so the time is actually changing as I calculate based on my, you know, test exposure and then the new long exposure. Now, here's the thing. You see the timer button on the bottom? Watch what happens if I click it. It's preset now for the eight seconds that the calculator actually determined. It's that easy to set the timer and to use the timer in Photopills. And I am so glad I added this. This is just a little bit of a time saver, which is fantastic. So if you are not using intervalometer and you are just using uh, just a standard cable release that locks in bulb mode and you are using Photopills to calculate, then now you've got your timer right there and you don't have to switch apps. It means you can remove one app from your phone. You can just use the app that they're giving you, or the feature, the pill, the timer inside of Photopills. Thanks team at Photopills. I am so glad you did this. And now I get to tell people and teach people and show them how to do it just like I just did in this video. I like time saving things. <laughs>